this video I'll be showing you how to correctly damage boost a Genji so like you know when he do does the Jin Jin blade he basically will get any kills with it and not just die to a Kree with a flashbang or a brick with a I don't know something so yeah let's begin with the first tip about the fair I, I will be showing like every single damage boost in this video so let's first start with Orisa Bongo so about the bongo, you, be, you want to make sure that it's definitely in the line of sight of the blade in Genji, uh, so he gets the Jin 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 damage boost. Uh, so like, don't place it behind the wall. Maybe try to shield it in the open and try to pull so Genji will have like the Jin Jin and get a seat K. So yeah, about Nano Blade, the most popular Genji combo to do. So you. The, 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 just don't be afraid to nano Genji when he's about like 80% on blade he still can get it uh, when he just dashes through the entire enemy but you j just when he do it only when he tells you it so like for example just tells you normally in voice to nano him or just looks at you maybe and spams his ultimate voice line j just don't be scared and also uh, the most, uh, the biggest difference against like good ass and bad ass at nanoing Genji is the time you nano get the Genji. Uh, the first slash is the mo of the, the nano blade. The first slash, the slash dash is the most powerful like slash dash uh, in the entire nano blade because like you have your dash reset a hundred percent and also when the Lucio has beat he doesn't have time to react when you do it correctly you can just slash dash him for beat mm, or like even you just dash up into there so you basically have two dashes so it's the most powerful you, you just don't want to nano a Genji late it's the when you look about when he already wasted like two seconds on blade and wasted his dash you basically just wanna save Nano and uh, apologize to him in voice so, so much when because he, he, he will be molding and stuff so like yeah so about mercy damage boost you primarily wanna damage boost the Genji and not heal him when he is like even low HP you, you maybe when the Genji is like I don't know 30 HP or something when he's literally about to die you can heal him but Damage boost is more important because you can, the Genji can just slash dash everyone instead of just double slashing and then dashing. So it's basically more important. Just uh, as long as he's slashing the enemy team, not like I don't know, staying in the open trying to find a target, you should always like damage boost him. Uh, or like when they use trance and he doesn't have dash, you can just heal him and try to make him stay alive. Uh, stay alive, maybe. And I will make okay. Basically, just focus on damage boosting the Genji instead of like killing him. Okay, so on Zen, what you wanna do is to discard or one of Genji's primary targets, not just tanks as usual. So the primary targets, I will, I will just show them on screen right now. It's my tier list for what do you wanna slash the SS tier is basically what you most likely wanna put your discard or when Genji blades as well so like when the for when for example the enemy team use has beat or something you can try to just discard or the lucio so it's easier for the genji to cancel the beat and also when there's entrance just try to put your discord on basically the closest target your genji is uh, is to but the target that you discord always has to have uh, 200 hp on less so the genji can actually uh, slash dash him through trance. About trance is that you wanna primarily discard Baby Diva or Tracer so Genji can uh, just one slash them. But also when your Genji is nanoblading on trance you, you basically yeah, wanna just discard a 200 HP all the rest, squishy, maybe even at 250 HP but that, that, that's just gonna be harder to slash dash but yeah. Uh, and since it's a uh, list of every single damage boost ability you also have a baptist window yes 